Hey everybody, it's Harry P with the Driftless Homestead. How are you guys doing today? Thanks for showing up, I appreciate it. Hey, I wanted to do a quick tour. It's uh, October 3rd, and I wanted to do a quick tour of the wood yard and give you guys a little glimpse of what the, what the colors look like here out in the Driftless region on October 3rd. The next two weeks are gonna be epic as far as colors are concerned in the woods. Um, now that we're into October, we are definitely back into cutting season. Um, I do kind of postpone it a little bit for gun or for deer hunting, um, archery hunting, gun hunting, and um, as soon as hunting is done, I am going to be out in the woods like crazy. But <clears throat> as you know, I've got a Eastern May 1222 on order, which means that I, as soon as I take delivery on that thing, I need to start turning a profit. So. I've been building up my supplies here and it's it's amazing really you know that I had uh, my neighbor uh, had the tree it was a, a silver maple you know which is good for campfire wood actually you can heat with it too it just doesn't put off the BTUs as the ash does but uh, you know, I'd gotten that big tree from him, which is a huge pile here and then over at the church, you know I cut uh, five ash trees down, which has led me to a lot of wood too. And, you know, as soon as I get up into the woods, like in December here, um, there's tons of ash trees. I know there's a, there's a big uh, white oak that died. I gotta go get that. And then of course, I'm gonna get some more iron woods down for uh, mushroom logs. So there is a lot of exciting stuff. Plus some people from my church, this came about unexpectedly. Um, some people at my church that own 100 acres had gotten logged off and they don't want the wood. It's just piled up, you know, all the treetops and call logs and they don't want it. So they just, uh, they asked me if I would take the call logs for them. They said that they would use their tractor and load it up on the trailer for me. So that's kind of exciting. 100 acres worth of call logs and tops, kind of a big deal. All right back to it sorry for the interruption there the neighbor came out and wanted to chit chat a little bit so always give people the respect you know so um, here is the silver maple that I got for inventory at the off-grid property I've also probably got just as much sitting at uh, at my house as well so a lot of these rounds you know they're pretty big and heavy so um, I'm gonna wait until uh, Easton Maid comes before I get into splitting too much because it's hunting season now and I'm not gonna um, you know run the splitter out here while I'm hunting but as soon as the Easton Maid gets here I'll get this all split up here is uh, part of what I got from the church um, it's all ash so a lot of that you know is good straight ash there and there here's some ash that I've got split up and then here's some uh, white oak that uh, had previously died and split it up so that should be good to go next year the the ash is good to go right away I've been splitting it so there's most of uh, some of what I got from the church and then I added on to my pile over here um, with the ash <clears throat> so I've got quite a bit of it here to uh, split up there's my log splitter now it's kind of slow so I mean I could jump on it that's what I've been cutting with and or splitting with so but the uh, the Easton made is just going to make things that much faster, that much more efficient. And then in December, you know, I'm going to start pulling trees out of the woods again. So I'm going to have a lot more. So I just need to catch up with this stuff here, get it stacked up. And then I have, this is all ash in here. I figured we would just burn this for the house. This has been split for two years. This is plenty dry enough. Um, been sitting here soaking up the sun so that's good to go too so i don't know what do we got here we've got uh eight 
16, one, two, three. Three times uh, 16 is, oh, what am I thinking? So that's uh, two and a half, two chords and then a half a face chord. So that's uh, all good to go. And then of course, got all this other stuff that's good to go too. A lot of this, uh, this ash is such straight, nice wood. Um, it's really good for the bundles, you know, looks good on there. So we'll give that a whirl. I'm gonna uh, shoot my bow right now and make sure I'm sighted in for bow hunting. Well, that's a tour of what we got going on here at the off-grid property right now. I've got a bunch of wood to do up at uh, at the house yet too, so trying to build up my uh, my supplies so that when the Easton maid gets here, I can start jump right in. <clears throat> I'll have wood to sell right away, and then uh, go from there. I won't uh, have so, most of it's ash, which is great firewood to me. It's the best, but I know some people like oak, oak, oak. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for showing up today. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe. Have a great day.